Hello everyone, Rich here and welcome to a new episode on how to analyze any chart from scratch. For today, we've got IOTA, a crypto asset, but of course you can apply the strategy on any instrument. For example, previously we went over a forex pair, commodity, index, stock, and so on. Feel free to request any instrument in the comment section below and I will do it hopefully next time. Before we start, I want to tell you about CoinCall. CoinCall is the largest altcoin options exchange. CoinCall provides fast, secure, and user-friendly trading, including futures and options for both beginners and experienced traders. If you don't have an account yet, I'll attach my referral link in the description below for you to enjoy 10% discounts on trading fees. So let's do it for IOTA. As you clearly see, we are currently in a big, big range. And from weekly time frame, from a big rejection uh, time frame, we can see that we are currently approaching around the all time low and the round number 0 0.1. And we rejected it multiple, multiple times previously, and we are currently hovering around it. That's the first one. The second one that we can clearly see is these rejections right there between 0 0.38 and 0 0.4. It's a very, very strong support and resistance, previously acting as a resistance, turned support, and now lately, or this year, has been acting as a resistance zone. And we are currently trading within this big range between 0 0.1 and 0 0.4, and around the low bound of it. So of course, we'll be looking for short-term or medium-term longs, targeting the 0 0.4. And later on, once we have the break of the 0 0.4, we'll be expecting a massive bull run for IOTA. We have our HDL attached, so we can draw everything objectively you can check the website richdial.com it includes uh, an entire package of of course the indicator community access full strategy on how to use it objectively and of course my weekly overviews zooming into daily chart you can clearly see that after rejecting the 0 0.4 previously at the beginning of this year we have been bearish making lower lows and lower highs as you can see it's all objective using RHTL. After breaking below this low, we have been confirmed to become bearish. And you can clearly feel that the impulse at the start were very, very steep. And then they are getting weaker, smaller, and flat, right? So if you compare these impulse movements, as you see, first steep, then going flat and small, even smaller and lately we have been flat which i call or we call an accumulation phase so that's our range and of course for us to go for a medium term entry we need to see a break above it it would be a break above this entire accumulation phase in the shape of a double bottom what you can see on weekly time frame once we break it upward we'll be expecting a shift in momentum from bearish the bullish and of course we'll be targeting this 0 0.4 which will be around 3x 3.5x zooming in a little bit you can see it even better this small range within this bigger range and we are currently around the low band of the big range that's why we are trading this one zooming into lower time frames, for example to h1 we can see that around the low band of this big range that we saw on daily chart right this one let me make it appear on lower time frames perfect so between the upper band in gray as you see that make it a little bit smaller for us here we go so around the lower band of it so around this area here we were looking for lungs and you can clearly see that we have this trend line of course i'm not going into the rules on how to use htl but this is an advanced pattern that we have and this is also an advanced pattern broken downward bearish and now this one here broken upward and we could have a long position and we'll be targeting the upper band anyway it's already done so let's focus on the future right so we have been bullish you can go for this trend line right there and if you retest it you can look for shorter longs but of course you only have this room for the best to take over again let me go for this one, change this color to blue and keep this one in orange because we have the trend line in orange. So we'll remain bullish shorter unless this one is broken down. But once broken down, we'll be expecting a movement towards the lower band of the range again around 0 0.1 where we'll be looking for new short-term logs. So for those who aren't holding IOTA yet can look for short-term entries here or for a medium buy after a daily candle close 
above the zero, above this entire range. And then we'll be targeting the upper band. This would sh signal a shift in momentum from a medium term to long term perspective. And of course, from a macro perspective, as mentioned previously, a break above 0 0.4 from weekly time frame will signal an entire uh, bullish trend. That's it for today. Be safe, trade safe, and most importantly, enjoy the process.